This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm joined by the man who's about to become European champion finally in two weeks. Uh, it's set out in Dubai. What's your reaction to the fight taking place in uh, Dubai, Lee? Oh, I could think of worse places to become European champion, definitely. Um, but now, like you say, finally, um, new date is set, 6th of February in Dubai. So, mine's fully focused on that date now. I mean... This fight with Karim Geoffrey has been on your mind for a very long time. Yeah. Um, I'm sure every night that you sleep, you want to hurt him more and more. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts on him going into this fight? Yeah, no, like you say, I've been I've been thinking about him for a long time now. This fight's been made since I, I first found out about this fight in September. So I've been preparing for this fight um, since September. So we're now we're now in January. It's been a long time. Um, Mentally, it's been challenging as well as physically, but I'm in a great place. I'm just over two weeks out now. Um, Kareem is no no mug. He's a good fighter. He's been on with some top top names. He's he's only lost a couple of fights out with like fit, over thirty fights, and the two guys that knocked him out were both well. One became world champion, and one's I think he's possibly mandatory for the new. So due to fight the so. It, He's been beat of, of two class operators and they both fights, when he got knocked out, he was well in the fights. Um, the the scorecards were, were were mixed. I think some of them were closer, some of them were split. So he was he was in the fights. He's never been dominated the way I think I'm going to do to him in two weeks. I think I'm going to make a big statement and, and shock a lot of people. I know styles make fights, but how do you compare Karim to your fight against Cash Fruit? How do you think... The levels compare. Um, comparing it to Ka Cash Fruit fight, I'm not really. Uh, couldn't really give you an answer on that. But what I can do is tell you that the Lee McGregor that's fighting Karim Guffey is ten times the fighter as the Lee McGregor that fought Cash Fruit. Um, I've been down here from, like I say, August September time. I've learned so much in that space of time. I've improved so much. Um. A complete different fighter, um, doing everything properly, and like I said, people seen a little glimpse of that in my last fight um, against Ryan Walker, but the they will see they will see the full package um, on the sixth of February. Obviously, a lot of that is down to you and the hard work you've put in, uh, the yeah. miles that you put in. But how much of that is down to Ben Davison? Yeah, like you say, it is down to me because I have to make the sacrifices of being down here being away from my family, putting in the hard work, but Ben just makes it so much easier for me. We're seeing how much I'm progressing and how much I'm learning. It's encouraging me. Like, I've got a whole new lease of life now. Like, I feel, I feel like I was a long, not a long way away from world level, but I felt like it was going to be, it was still still in the, the further distance. But now I'm thinking, like, I'm I'm approaching world level now and I think coming through this fight will show that and then that will then put me on to that level and, and it's, it's, it's a big fight it's life changing stuff if I win this fight and, and I'm very very confident that I will Ben is the best one of the best coaches I've worked the best coach I've worked with definitely his knowledge is unbelievable but it's not just him like I say and, and he'll tell you that himself he's got a great team around him Lee Wiley, um, the video analysis guy who comes down with us as well. Like they're just they cover every single area and it's it's making a huge difference for me. No, Barry Smith's been uh, helping out at the gym as well. Yeah, Barry as well. Obviously, he's he's in the gym with us as well. well. I couldn't ask for a better team. I honestly couldn't. Um, they've put in they've put in all their work. I've put in my work. It's now it's now time to to do my job and win the fight. How do you think Karim's going to approach the fight? I think he's going to come and um, really try and stick it on me. I think he thinks that I'm a young lad. This is too soon for me. Um, he's been in with top-class operators, so I don't think he's going to be phased by me at all. Um, and I think he's going to get the shock of his life when I hit him. And, yeah, like I don't, know, don't want to say too much, but I definitely think he's going to get a big, big shock. Obviously, a, a major title here on the line, the European one. I'm sure you've always wanted to win that. And the fact that you're boxing in Dubai, this is a, a massive experience and could really like propel your name, Lee. Is that fair? 
a hundred percent. It's it's huge. It's it's like I just said earlier. It's life changing for me winning this fight. So I'm so glad I've had as as much as it's been frustrating with the with the delays and the postponements. I, I'm I'm so glad I've had this time to to really like it's the more I've the longer it's been delayed, the more I've had time to think about this and and how how big an achievement this will be uh, becoming British Commonwealth and European champion. In ten fights, I, I can't think a British fighter who's done that. Um, it was supposed to be in November, um, which I would have been twenty three years old doing that. Now I'm twenty four, turned twenty four at Christmas, so I'm a bit disappointed that I never done it at the age of twenty three. But I think still at the age of twenty four, it's still very impressive, and it's it's massive, like I said, and life changing. Winning this will will push me on to to big things for sure. Well, hopefully you bag that re- European. Josh Taylor becomes undisputed uh, in May. It looks like against Jose Ramirez. It's a Scottish takeover. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. I've been alongside Josh for a long time now. We we bounce off each other all the time. Uh, it's nothing better than training alongside him, especially when he's getting ready for the huge one of the biggest fights in boxing. And obviously, I've got my job to do in two weeks' time. And and I'm confident I'll get that done. And then it's it's full focus on on Josh's um Josh's date in May and I'll be along I'll I'll be making sure I'm back on training and alongside him and pushing him through the, the hard training training weeks that he's got to come. Well listen Lee, I'm glad you finally got your date. Um safe travels to Dubai. Hopefully Karen makes it safe as well yeah. so we do get this fight on and uh, obviously we will catch up with you in the week in Dubai. Is there anything you'd like to add before you go? No, just um, I'm I'm really looking forward to the fight. Obviously, I hope everyone tunes in. It's, it's it's different circumstances, but the main thing is the fight is on, and in two weeks, just over two weeks' time, I will be European champion. I will be bringing that European title back to Edinburgh. On that note, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Best of luck on the sixth of February. Right, top man. Thanks so much. Cheers.